Hello everyone, Velveteen Duck here. Today's guide is going to talk about the Spring Festival event, which is basically the Easter event in Drakensang Online. It's set to start on April 4th and end on April 20th of this year. Before we begin, a quick announcement concerning the Velveteen Duck channel. I'm returning to work in the pharmacy, so you're going to see a little bit less of me in the upcoming months. I want to give you guys the best quality videos I can possibly make, so the trade-off is that I won't be able to do quite as many of them. But no worries, I'll still be around. And as always, if this video helps you out, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. Let's take a quick look here at the rewards from the progress bar. This one here is from my level 100 Spellweaver on the test server. Do be aware that if you have a lower level character, your progress bar may look a little bit different as you'll have a bunch of experience buffs in the place of the Stacks of Wisdom. To start this event, head to King's Hill where you're going to be talking to Festos. He'll start you off with a quest titled A Hard Egg to Crack, One Out of Two, where you'll have to collect 999 colorful essences and 20 Spring Dawn Dust. These two items can be farmed by killing worthy monsters and clicking on Spring Festival eggs located out all kinds of regular dungeon maps. I don't really have a preferred place to farm these eggs, honestly. I just go wherever I normally farm in my routine farming days, so places like Stonekeep and Fox Earthic Burrow of Investigation. Also, even if you don't care to do this event at all, you might want to meticulously click every single egg that you come across. They have a small chance of dropping some gems and equipment. If you want to skip ahead in the quest, flexing your credit card and purchasing colorful essences and spring dawn dust from a shop is also an option. When you enter most dungeon maps, you might notice a big red egg on your minimap. This marks the location of the giant egg. You need to equip colorful essences in order to damage the egg. There will be various monsters that spawn that attack you, but there's no need to kill them since, as far as I can tell, they never drop anything good. If you are playing a Spellweaver, you can just cast Mind Control on one of these critters and it'll keep the rest of them distracted and out of your way. Upon destroying the giant egg, a passage to Egg Island will open. You need to have Spring Dawn Dust in order to enter Egg Island. And all monsters on Egg Island can only be damaged if you have colorful essences equipped. Just an FYI, in case you can't find it, the Spring Dawn Dust is stored in the special bag of your inventory. On Egg Island, you will find a lot of Spring Festival eggs scattered throughout the map. If you are as blind as I am, which is very blind, here is a map that I grabbed from the official event guide. I'll link to that in the description below if you want a closer look. Collect progress by defeating the monsters on the map, as well as opening those hidden eggs. By the way, the progress is called False Festival Eggs, and you'll find that it's also an item in your inventory. You can safely sell this for coin, it will not erase your event progress. Six silver though, so rich. You'll also find a mushroom ring to the upper right part of Egg Island. Standing inside the ring for a few seconds will trigger three leaders to attack. Defeating Brack the Versatile, Talk the Selen, and Crim the Moaner will allow you to open three golden eggs on the ground for some more event progress. When you've cleared the map of all the trolls, the event boss Darren the Spoiler will appear. His attacks are pretty slow, so it's generally quite easy to deal with. The only thing you should watch out for is not to step into his silencing pools on the ground. If you step into them, you will be hit with a rabbit curse, which renders you unable to use any skills. You also get put into a bunny costume for the duration of the debuff. <sighs> if only it was a duck costume, it'd be so much better. I think we could slip that into the suggestions for next year, somehow, somewhere. Anyways, back on topic. From Darren, there is a wide collection of mounts and pets that you can get. The mounts are eggs and the pets are enigmatic hatchlings. Personally, I don't think these pets are very useful in terms of the stats that they offer, but hey, eye candy. I never turn down eye candy. The Ring of Sprouting can also be obtained as a drop from Darren the Spoiler. As for the other pieces of the Spring set, you can obtain it from the Amphorae's. Just a reminder, this set is limited to level 140 if you obtain it as a drop, but using the workbench should allow you to craft it at level 145, as long as you collect a sufficient number of Darren's paint-stained ears. If you need help with equipment creation crafting, please see this guide over here. 
After killing Darren, a doorway to a secret lair will open. This secret lair will always be an 8 platform secret lair, so you're going to find a protector blocking your way at the end of it. Somewhere within the secret lair, you're also going to find the chief of the festival crashers to defeat. Remember, you don't need colorful essences for the regular monsters inside the lair, but to defeat the chief of the festival crashers, you need it. Alright, so moving on to the tips. As usual, taking your credit card out for a round of exercise is the fastest way to complete the event. There's everything from buying colorful essences all the way to straight up buying event progress. There's also a special package in the shop that can give you something called an egg shower. I'm not totally sure what this is since I'm not going to buy the package on the test server just to see it, but it's probably some kind of buff to increase the drops of the event progress. If you're not keen on using your credit card, remember to take the repeatable quest, A Hard Egg to Crack. I know, that is the only name for all the quests in this entire event. <laughs> After 15 runs, you should be able to turn it in for some legendary colorful essences, event progress, and spring dust for entering the Egg Island. From the quest, A Hard Egg to Crack, 2 out of 2, you get a 3 hour spring festival attire. Please. Before you turn in that quest, be aware that this attire expires in real time. That means the moment you obtain the attire, whether you use it or not, you need to have a 3 hour window to play as much as possible, otherwise your attire will become useless. I would like to suggest that you farm a lot of colorful essences and spring dawn dust, turn in this quest and immediately spam runs of the egg island and possibly some of the secret lair with this attire active to maximize your gains. If you want to finish the event in a minimum number of runs, this is one of the rare events where I actually recommend doing the secret lair. I was just playing on painful and I got 440 progress from killing the chief, which is equal to one kill of Darren the spoiler, as well as a few bonus gilded clovers. As always, if you have unanswered questions or remarks, leave it in the comments below, or join our discord. We're a lively bunch who answer questions, gossip, and sometimes we play games, so hope to see you there.